Hello, everybody, and welcome into Sports by GSMC. I am your host, Jeremy Lapidus. Today, we have a great episode for you. We're going to cover, obviously, the big story of the day is the Super Bowl that occurred just last night, where the Kansas City Chiefs took down the San Francisco 49ers 25-22 to in an overtime thriller. We will break down that game in the first segment. Second segment, we will go over everything that happened uh, as a result of the game, you know, the legacies of these players, uh, everything that comes next as we look forward to the future of the NFL. Now, of course, remember, if you want to be here on the stream, if you want to say something, feel free. All you need to do is to go to streamelements.com slash GSMC Sports Network slash tip. That's again streamelements.com slash gsmc sports network slash tip if you would like to leave a tip or put anything in the show for me to respond to now without further ado though let's get into the super bowl recap we had what was probably one of the best super bowls of all time definitely in recent memory uh but it started off really slow the first quarter there were no points, lots of turnovers. The first quarter ended 0-0 after a couple promising drives were struck down with some fumbles by both Christian McCaffrey and Isaiah Pacheco. Now the first quarter, and really this entire game, both of these teams' defenses were playing out of their minds. Uh, you know, you had some of the most high-powered offenses in this league come in, and put up nothing against, to be fair, some very, very good defenses in the Chiefs and the 49ers. But to be shut down as completely as they were in the beginning of that game, and even into the second quarter, it was very impressive, especially with the 49ers not having Dre Greenlaw as he tore his Achilles entering the game. A huge setback for them, not something that probably lost them the game, because that defense was able to hold them off as much as they could with or without him. We don't know for sure if that really would have made a difference, but they played good enough that it probably did not make that much of a difference uh, having him out there. But that yes, that first quarter, the drive started out. 49ers had a promising drive and fumbled the ball away on a Christian McCaffrey fumble. Uh, and then the Chiefs back and forth, punt, 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 until we got into the second quarter. Offense finally happened. We had our first points on what at the time was the longest field goal in Super Bowl history, kicked by Jake Moody, a 55-yard field goal uh, to put the 49ers up 3 nothing midway into that second quarter. Chiefs still couldn't get much going after that. Although, the 49ers after that field goal seemed to have gotten a lot of momentum. You look at, uh, honestly, it was a really gutsy call uh, to score that first touchdown in the game. You had Jawan Johnson throwing. Jawan Johnson, four-string receiver on the San Francisco 49ers, throwing a touchdown to Christian McCaffrey for the first point, for the first touchdown of the game. Anybody that had that on their bingo board for this game must be from the future. Juwan Johnson to throw a touchdown is insane. And what a gutsy call there by Kyle Shanahan to really put the 49ers up what seemed like an insurmountable lead at the time. Now, heading into halftime, the Chiefs were able to get a field goal, which passed that previously mentioned longest field goal of all time in the Super Bowl, 57 yards by Harrison Butker. So heading into halftime, score was 10-3. to 10-3, not that much offense. And it kind of continued the same way uh, into that third quarter. Not much was going on. Now, the Chiefs' defense continued to play at an elite level. Uh, 
all the way up through that third quarter where they had their second shutout. Two, they shut the 49ers down in two out of the uh, out of the the five quarters, I guess, in this game. And the 49ers, for as well as their defense was playing, they had an interception of Mahomes, the only turnover in the game, uh, the only interception thrown in the game, excuse me. Uh, but they were able to scratch another field goal across, cutting the lead 10-6 to six, uh, with just about four minutes to go in that quarter. On the very, uh, a couple couple drives later, the 49ers had a special teams gaffe. A punt off, a punt off of the the back of one of the of the blockers on the on the field was recovered by the Chiefs, and one play later, uh, Patrick Mahomes found Marquez Valdez Scantling wide open. No one was near him. It it was a blown coverage or something. No one was within 10 yards of this man, wide open. Chiefs take the lead for the first time in the game. At 2.28 to go in the third here. So the Chiefs are up now 13-10. to 10. But the San Francisco 49ers are able to answer right back with a touchdown of, the, of their own. Unfortunately, after what was an incredible drive that took it through the end of the third quarter into the fourth, when Juwan Jennings had his second touchdown of the day, this time a catch from Brock Purdy. Uh, The extra point was blocked. Now, them being up three at the time, instead of being up four, was a huge momentum shift in this game. From that block, uh, the Chiefs were able to tie the game up on the very next drive, where for the three straight drives, it was field goal, field goal, field goal. Ending in regulation, and with the end of regulation, leaving the score to be tied at 19. Now, that block kick obviously made a huge impact. That whole special teams had a huge impact for the 49ers. Uh, we mentioned that punt that went off the foot of the of the blocking uh, 49er recovered by the Chiefs for their first touchdown that really started their momentum and drove their comeback. And then that blocked uh, extra point that would have most likely won them the game. Uh, now, obviously, the Chiefs had the ball down at the goal line in the waning seconds of that ha- of that of that game in regulation. So instead of settling for a field goal, you never know what would have happened on that next play if, in fact, they had made that extra point. But regardless, heading into overtime here. The score is tied at 19, and here is when we get to see for the first time the new overtime rules. Now, these new overtime rules were put in uh, as a result of the Bills-Chiefs overtime fiasco uh, a couple years back when the Chiefs won that uh, coin toss, and both teams were moving down the field without much trouble on either side. So the 49ers here, they win this toss, and they choose to keep the ball. They choose to receive. Uh, now, they're, they're running down the field. It's run, 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 running down the gut of the, 40, of the Kansas City Chiefs. They cannot stop them until they get into the red zone. There's a fourth and four here at the, at the Kansas City nine-yard line. Now, we have similar rules, not the exact same, but similar overtime rules in in college football. And you look at the strategies of what to do in those situations uh, when you have the ball first, and you have to kind of assume that Patrick Mahomes is going to score the way that it was going at the end of that game. You know, they had three straight drives where they scored points at the end. Third quarter, they scored on every single one of their possessions in the fourth quarter. The San Francisco defense, for as well as they played, they were not stopping Mahomes down the stretch. So it can be questioned whether or not 
the 49ers should have kicked that field goal, which they ultimately ended up doing, giving them a three-point lead. Now, to a certain extent, I understand why they did it. Would I have done it? Probably not. But to a, cer- to a certain extent, uh, say seeing how that defense had been playing all game, seeing how they had been able to shut them down practically for the entire first half, you can believe in your defense, and you don't want to walk away from that with no points. That would be worst-case scenario. So it was a conservative play call to go ahead and kick that field goal. And something that will be questioned, that is the big question, big takeaway here from the game, is these new overtime strategies, what to do. And the 49ers, uh, quotes from the from their guys, uh, Kyle Juszczyk came out and said that he had no, that a bunch of 49ers had no idea what the actual rules were of the new overtime. They thought, you score a touchdown, the game is over. So, not the greatest look for the 49ers here. But either way, they kick that field goal, putting them up three points, 22-29 to 29 in overtime. And now the Chiefs have a chance to tie or win the game. Now they go on this 13-play, 75-yard drive that takes up seven minutes of game time. There's a huge fourth and one call uh, early in the drive on the Kansas City 34, where Patrick, where Andrew Reed draws up this beautiful play call. You have a read option to Pacheco on fourth and one at a shotgun. Patrick Mahomes keeps. You have Travis Kelsey running a motion flat route, heading out to the flat with there's only one defender and you put him in conflict. The defender ended up choosing to cover Kelsey, leaving Mahomes with a wide open lane, and he ends up picking he ends up picking up eight yards on that fourth and one. A huge, huge play, and one of the best play calls that I've seen in a long time. There was just a lot going into that, putting so many defenders in conflict. Uh, it was almost a surefire to work. And then another huge play in this drive. Heading down, there was a third and a second and, th- excuse me, a third and six at the Kansas City 46, where Patrick Mahomes again, made this play with his legs. He ran for uh, 25 yards here, I believe, uh, to set them up deep into into 49er territory, almost at the red zone. Uh, A huge run just didn't work, and the 49ers hadn't been blitzing a lot that game. They hadn't been doing a lot of blitzing. Uh, because that's just not who the 49ers are. But on a third and one call, uh, 49ers do blitz. They do blitz, and they just run a short little drag route to Rashi Rice, and he beats that blitz, something that the 49ers had not been able to do very well throughout the entire game. With time winding down, and this is something that... uh, for some people, they may not know. Although the time was running out in that first overtime period, since the Chiefs had not finished their first possession, they weren't going to be at risk of losing the game. It just would have gone into double overtime. But with three seconds left in overtime, Patrick Mahomes, again, another one of those really well-designed motion plays that Andy Reid and the Chiefs' offense have done so well for the longest time. Mikkel Hardman goes in motion. His defender gets stuck behind the line, trying to make his way through the red zone mesh of defense, uh, which leaves Mikkel Hardman wide open, catches it, walks into the end zone for the walk-off overtime touchdown. An incredible game by both teams. Uh, The Chiefs win their second Super Bowl in a row. That is the first repeat Super Bowl winner since the Patriots did it in 03 04. And they've now won three Super Bowls in four years. Again, first time since the Patriots. Patrick Mahomes, in six years as a starter, has won a Super Bowl in three of those seasons and made it to the Super Bowl in four of them. An incredible, incredible start to his career. One that, as we'll get a little bit into in our next segment, might have him in the in the 
in the GOAT conversation already. But if you want to stick around for that, remember, we will dive into that in just a minute. We will be right back. Stick around. 